my hair is a mess, my whole, oh my gosh, life is too, but my dad is having a sleepover. So it's Mystery Box Monday and we are going to open, ooh, ah! As I was saying, we are going to open two boxes up. Let's do Hi, this. Hi, I'm Amy, the Rainy Day Shopper. I'm a part-time reseller, Poshmark, eBay, Depop, Thrilling Vintage. And uh, I'd like to introduce you to the new member of the family. This is Miss Sassafras, Petunia Peppermint Pugsley. Yes, you see you. Okay, go eat her face. And you all know Peanut the Pocket Pug, who is no longer a pocket. She is still a pug. And my dad's going to steal her. Anyway, for those of you who are here for the first time, thank you so much for being here. As you can see, I'm a total mess. And if I waited until I wasn't a mess, I would never be doing this again. So I thought we'd just jump right in because, oh my gosh, dad is having a sleepover. Obviously with a, a woman. I have a dog hair, hold on. Awkward. Anyway, it's Mystery Box Monday. I've got a box. This one is called a variety what not box. So this is what I purchased. Looks like this. And I had never seen one listed like that before. The last box, let's see, and it was $10. So the last box I got along these lines had a bunch of junk in it, but it had two things that were really good. One of them sold for over $80. And there were some other little odds and ends that definitely made it worth the buy. So I thought I would try this. And I've literally been waiting for three months to open it so I could open it with you. I could have opened it sooner, but I wasn't ready. Petunia, She's looking at the couch. Um, yes, this is the dog couch and there's a reason why it is, it, no, it's just a thing. Anyway, for those of you who are always here, I missed you so much. I literally have so many mystery boxes I have waited to open with you because I couldn't wait. Um, thank you so much for all, okay, I am being licked. I don't know if it, anyway. There's a whole bunch of stuff going on. We're just going to open this box. But Pam, thank you so much for all of your checking in and for shopping for Christmas presents. Miss Mary always knows when I'm having a bad sales day and just buys a bundle of cool things and makes me so happy that they're going to a great home. Uh, let's see, who else? Tessa, thank you so much. You've got a few cute things in there. And Kirsten, thank you for checking in. Kat and... Let's see, who else? Oh my gosh, so many people have been checking in and just saying hi, I appreciate it. There's some rumbly stuff here. Um, ooh, okay, oh. So it's actually a bag in a box. I'm not gonna try and lift this because you, the, the, that felt the last, no, that was awkward. So let's just start with what's in the first thing here. Uh, this is a Happy Holidays bookmark, which looks like it's new in box, but it's pretty gosh darn used. Unless it's like plated in silver and so just tarnished. I don't know how the lighting is here, but we're just going with it because I am, uh, as I said, dad is having a sleepover. So I am, let's see, device and coal closed from Kohl's. Doesn't have a price. Anyway, cute. If it's just tarnished, it's very sweet. Someone will like that. Let's see, where am I putting all this stuff? I don't know. Anyway, so dad started dating last year. Y'all know that. It's a plastic thing. I need a garbage box or a recycle me box. I'll find one. Anyway, I only met a few people. This is United States Capitol Historical Society Holiday Ornament 2019. Oh, look, it's gold and it opens. All right. Someone will probably like that. Look, it's kind of cute. Sorry, I was looking at it down there because we're awkwardly up here. Uh-oh, the puppy has to go out. Hold on, I'll be back and I'll get a box. Oh my gosh, my hair is, I need a haircut. Let's not even talk about it. Anyway, dog walking. Where were we, dad? Oh my gosh. Anyway, so he, uh, an empty box. It is a nice empty box. Looks to be leather covered. Is there any value in these? I don't know. I think it's going into probably the donate pile. Let's see what else is in here. Oh, iron on. Looks like there might be a couple of these in here. If there are, that'd be a cute little lot. So they are sequined. Very cool. So I'll see if there's more, if there's enough to sell. Does that puppy just do something I don't want? Anyway, uh, what is this? This is, it's my birthday. Looks like there's, uh, it has numbers so you can, you don't even have to write, you can just put it there. 
so that's fun. It looks like this is a bunch of craft stuff that nobody wanted, and I can see why so far. We'll see. Maybe the uh, White House pendant or whatever it is is worth $10 million. Oh, look, it's iron-on art. We could do a little craft lot. So let me just disclose it. Bobby pens. Those are actually kind of cute, but they would get stuck in my hair. No. So much. Anyway. So it's pink. Is that Victoria's Secret? If I can clean that up, someone might buy that. It's cute. But I'd probably want to do it with a lot or give it as a free gift with someone who buys something else. Victoria's Secret. Got to keep an eye on the puppy. Okay, another headband. Actually, one of the... Ooh, what is this? This is gel magic. Design ideas. But there's also, like, the whole kit in here. So it looks like you can, we can bedazzle. Oh, people, we can bedazzle. This obviously looks like it was open because it's in a, like, bag, but there's still pieces and parts, and I'll take a look at that somewhat. I mean, you know, who doesn't love a good bedazzling? Anyway, look, empty bags. I pulled out two, and I didn't show you the first one because I was just afraid, like, it wasn't that exciting. But I should show you all the things. It is a bottle opener. So far, this is definitely whatnots. It is for you. Is it monogrammed? I have to see if I can look at that a little more. See what's actually in there. Maybe take the ribbon off. No, the ribbon's under other plastic. Interesting. I'll have to see what that is. So far, nothing worth really selling. What are the puppies? Anyway. Uh, oh, these are little hair chopsticks. Like you put them in your hair and it holds it up. Those are cute and actually useful. I could do like a little hair lot with things. Uh, I have sold, oh, those are cute little barrettes made in the USA. No, imported by the USA. Made in Canada. Interesting. Those are cute. They look vintagey, And so I'm tempted to keep them. Oh, look, more bobby pins. Again, this is feeling like their whatnots is really a box of craft and hair. More little iron-on. Looks like maybe from Joanne's. Uh, they use those clearance stickers, but I guess a lot of places do. So anyway... Dad bought a condo. He closes next week. And now I have to figure out what to do with the farm. So about that, this is a little fluff case with a seahorse on it, which I'm assuming was supposed to have something in it. There's a mirror, so maybe some makeup of some sort. It is not there, but it's kind of a cute little box. I'm going to look that up. People collect boxes, so who knows? Do I want to hold on? I got to see what the puppy has. All right. It is not illegal. She has a sanctioned puppy toy. We're all right. Seriously. Oh, uh, yeah. So I got a puppy. <laughs> I love her. She's fabulous. She's annoying. This is very pretty uh, again, but it's worn at the edges and stuff. So I don't think it's really good for. So, oh, I thought it was like, what is this? It is a giant headed creature. It is, uh, what year are we? Funko Pops, 2017. Uh, don't know this character. We'll look it up, see if there's any value, but it's not in a box, so I doubt it. But if there's enough little toys, I'll make a little toy lot with the stuff from the adopted nephew's bedroom that is getting packed up to move over to the new house. Oh, look, some more patches, Wild at Heart. That's fun. So again, that'll go in a cute little craft lot, I think, with a cat chawler cat chawler, a cat color charm, and some empty bubble wrap, which is very useful, but still. Oh, ew. I think that had a hair attached to it. We'll get back to, ew, what is this? This is a piece of tooled leather. Looks like it was previously glued on the front of something, but it's also really cool. So I will have to, I don't know, look that up, see if there's any market for tooled leather pieces. This is Monet. Oh, oh, it's an R. Anyone out there need an R? It is in the box. It is beautiful. It's a pin. It was formerly $18 and likely vintage, but not super vintage. Hmm, that's cute. I could miss that probably. Let's see how much it's worth. This thing of what? Oh, what? Hold, hold on. Oh, it's a skull. Look at that. In with the hair lot. This is also Fabulette, the black zipper's assistant. Oh, the back zipper. I thought it was, I was like, it's in a black box. What is that? Oh my God, this is vintage. You put it on your zipper and you pull it up and it's so, ah, it's got 
with the instructions. How adorable is it? There has to be a market for that. So yes, it's got, it's so cute. I don't know. I'm going to put it back in its box thusly. I mean, I'm sure someone used it, but it doesn't really look like it. So we'll see. Okay, puppies, are they behaving? Oh my gosh, seriously. So Papa bought a condo. It closes next week. He's going to start moving out spring break. I am working full time now, by the way, which is killing me. It was really nice not working full time. I do not have as much time for reselling. So what made me think it was a good idea to start making videos again? I don't know. I miss y'all and I wanted to open this box and now I can't close that. So I'm just going to move on because otherwise it's going to take forever. There's a lot of stuff in this box. Oh, that's a cute little patch. So some bedazzled patches. Great. I'll put those all in a little craft lot, um, which will probably make $10 at least. There is a bedazzled mirror um, and a... Not a brush, but a brush of makeup. I don't even know what's that for. What, what, mm, it's, what would you, what do you do with that? Okay, those can go down there. We'll decide about those later. Anyway, I hope everything's going well with you. I have missed you so much. Like I said, it's been really, so what is this? Guess? This is made in Italy. Wow. Uh, it's a vintage, looks like leather wallet made in Italy does have just some normal wear and tear. Oh, there it is. G-I-U-D. Guidi? Goody? Gaudi? Um, there is... Nope, that's just a fold. I was like, is that a rip? It's in really... I don't know if that's initials J-W-S, so that might diminish value, but it's a vintage, really cool piece. I'll have to look that up. Um, but I like that. Who doesn't like leather? Boys always need new wallets. Palm Beach Health Network. There you go. It's actually never been used, it looks like. If you need a little pocket mirror, why not? I don't think... I could make a little lot of pocket mirrors. I have more somewhere. Uh, little goodie Lux. This looks like a vintage card, actually. Let's see. Uh, so just a little clip-on. Again, could make a little hair accessory lot, which I might do. Or that might just be a donation. Ooh! This is a fun tool, little card holder it is not a full-on bill fold so like a card you can put money in there but anyway that's cute are those oak leaves who knows tell me if those are oak leaves yes they are because i see an acorn look I, I i figured out myself oh my gosh what is up with my hair i look like i have a football head oh this is it's a mm, they have wrapped it in lots of bubble wrap anyway so i'm full-time right now and it is killing me because I haven't, I've been, while well, mom was sick, you know, I was working part-time and then reselling. So I could do both. Now, oh, seriously. And with the Poshmark new, like, Posh Ambassador 2, everyone was complaining about no sales. I'm like, I'm still making, like, a couple sales a day, every day, not as much as I was a few weeks ago. Then I finally got the Posh Ambassador 2 little sticker. Have not made a sale since, and that was two days ago. So... Thank you, Poshmark, for that lovely gift. I appreciate it. But on the other hand, eBay has picked up the past few days, and so I've made, you know, five, six sales there today. Oh, my gosh, dogs. They're, I'm sure you can hear them. I can't open that. Can I just pull it out? Hold on. It's, I couldn't use scissors. I have some. Oh, are you broken? All right, we'll come back to that one. It, it might be broken. We'll see. Uh, ooh, this is a little lipstick carrier. So one of those cute little, like, probably has a mirror in it. That's cute. Could put that with a little, like, mirror accessory lot if they're enough, or I feel like doing so. Marbles. Chinese checker marbles. Game replacement. And it has an, a lovely attached hair clip. All in one. So far, this box of odds and ends is definitely oddy and endy. Ooh, these are cool. Okay, lots of hair. Okay, Petunia, that is not for you, young lady. Back, back. Thank you. Yes, go eat Peanut's face. She is flapping, which means she's running back and forth like a crazy, crazy loony girl. Because she is. These are really cute. They are, again, like put in your buns. Um, but it's missing a thing, um, a jewel. This is, ooh, it's a little angel. Look at how cute she is. If I do a little Christmas ornament lot, I could put that in there. Vintage, cheesiness, but cute. 
Probably handmade, maybe. Um, oh, so are you by the door? To no, uh, 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 uh. no, no, Tunya, Petunia Peppermint Pugsy. Oh, that's her full name, and I'm going to go intervene because she's got contraband. Hold on, she's intervened or intercepted or I, anyway, she doesn't have the contraband anymore. It has been saved. All right, it is a. I don't know. And it has a place perhaps for a bat. Is it, what is this? Something, I don't know what this is or why it has, what is this? Is it open? What does it do? There's a place for a battery. I, if you know, let me know, but it's interesting looking. So far, this is one of the best lots I've ever gotten. Actually, I've gotten a couple of really good, ooh, glasses holders, got a ton of these if anyone wants some. I was gonna make a lot of them and then I just decided I didn't care. So ooh, a little a little bag with a wipey cloth cloth for your glasses. Petunia, are you by the door again? No, she's eating peanut paste under the table. We're okay. So I'm slightly distracted. Look, some more barrettes. There we go. Ooh, what is this? Hold on. That felt interesting. It is this. It is Chippendale. Three, five, eight, it says on the back. And it has a crest. Is this silver? I have to look for Hallmarks. Chippendale? Interesting. I would say plate, if anything. But there's some stuff I cannot, there's more. So I can't read what's right there. And then there's the numbers. So I think, I don't have my loop down here. Um, but. Okay, we'll look at that. We'll see what it is. We'll let you know. If I find anything out, I'll probably type it up there. I don't know if I will. Oh my gosh. How handy is that? Brand new in the package. Well, ish. But yeah, I can use that. Who, who doesn't always need nail clippers? And I cannot find my tweezers for the life of me, which may explain the nose hair situation. We're not going to talk about that. Anyway, tomorrow, oh, by the time you see this, yesterday, ooh, batteries. Those are useful. Um, I will have gone on a second date with some guy. I've gone on a few, like I met a few guys and it's just like, eh, you know, I've, I've gone and seen a couple of them, a couple times, a couple of them, a couple times. I don't know. So we'll see. I'm not, I just, I'm not really interested in the whole finding. I, anyway, but dad's having a sleepover. It's a little pout. But Tonya, what are you doing? You are a doofus. This is, oh, wow. Look at that. That is a Funko Pop of Funko Pops. Does it say what it is? I don't know who that is. What's the date on these little things? These shoes are tiny. 2018. He's a, he looks frozen, so I'll put him somewhere. Could do a little Funko Pop lot out of box. Someone would probably buy that. Oh, what is she? She is, she is, uh, <laughs> what is she? <laughs> she's bald. <laughs> she's, she's bald. Um, someone has beaded her beautifully with safety pins. Those are safety pins. I feel like there's a market for this. I don't know what that market is, but someone wants this. Don't you think so? She's absolutely fabulous. A little dirty in the face. I wouldn't wipe too much off because I wouldn't get any makeup wiped off. Um, Petunia, what are you eating? We'll be back again. Okay. She has now been kenneled. We'll see if she starts whining because she is going crazy daisy and eating things she shouldn't eat, which is, ooh, it's a little truck. It's a little truck. Let's have a date. Ford. 1991, vintage. Vintage, good. All right. What is this? I can't see in the box, it's kind of over here. Ooh, that's a heart, I can't get it out. Look, there's another one. Wait, or did I put it? Never mind. I put her back in there when I went to rescue the Tunia put her over here now. Anyway, I hope you are doing well. I am like, there's a lot going on. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's a 50 year calendar. It was sold at Powell's, which is in Portland, but this didn't come from Oregon, this box. So that's really interesting. I don't know if anyone has a need for a 50 year calendar keychain, but why not? Okay. That's stuck. Partial card of bobby pins. 
cute little bow uh, la mode details. What are those? Uh, oh, just something you would sew on. All right, crafty lot. Let's see. There isn't a lot in here, but gold headband. Actually, oh, this is a gateway to the Smokies, Gatlinburg. Genuine, 24 karat gold finish brass. Let's see, classic ornament made in Taiwan. This looks like it may be from 60s, 70s. I'll have to look at that a little closer. Those are cute. I mean, people, some people collect touristy stuff. All right, we'll, we'll take a look at that. Uh, oh, uh, uh, what is that? And do I wanna, it, it's a thing. I don't know what the thing is, but it has a ticket. Prime it. So you can poke something with this and it has a tag on. Oh, look it up. Maybe it's worth a thousand dollars. Who knows? It's a little thing, comb for the hair. I used to wear those occasionally. That one's stuck. Okay, this is a, has a spade on it. it. Like, I don't think that's anything. Hold on, let's see. There's another card in here. It's glittery. Oh, wait. It's Kate Spade. Wireless charging occurs by magnetic induction. So it is for like the back, it looks like of your phone. You glue it on, uh, hasn't been used. And then it's for like money or cards there. So it is actually, I believe Kate Spade. Okay. Okay. I mean, what, that's gotta be worth 10 bucks. This is broken, but nice jewels. Someone could use them. Let's see a shoehorn and a pokey thing. And uh, I'm going to put those down there. Anyway, I did not expect this to be the most brilliant lot. So I don't know why I decided to start with this. Oh, there's two of those. That was the one that, um, there's a set of those and they're like cloisonne wannabe. I guess maybe they're technically cloisonne. Uh, but those are cute, vintagey. It's a little tiara. Look, I am the queen. I'm not going to put that on my hair because my hair is already messy enough. Anyway, so ooh, that's cute. Hold on, we're tangled. We can't. We're really tangled. We got all the tangly things here. This is what are you? You look like a jewel, a necklace, a headband. Hold on. Um. So yeah, I just I've missed you, and I miss coming to talk to you. And I've been trying to get everything in order. And right now, what is that? Is that a headband? I think that's a headband. No, that can't be a headband. Is that a, oh my gosh. I have, don't even talk to me about the neck wrinkles. Anyway, that looks like it could be something interesting. So I'm gonna see if it has any markings on it when I have better light and, you know, can see. This is a cute, oh, it dang, oh, okay, it's all together. It's like, I just want to take those off. No, they go with it. It's a really cute barrette with little jewels. That's pretty. I think someone would buy that. Maybe there's two. Maybe the other one's a star, which would be awesome. Oh, look, I found the star. It is Sheriff Jacob. Anyone know a Jacob? Who needs, do I know a Jacob? I might know a Jacob. Hold on. Anyway, someone is going to be Sheriff and they're going to clean up this Huskow. Who's, is the Huskow the jail? I'm confused. It's a little pouch, a little purse. If I have enough of these, like people use them. They're really cute. I could send jewelry out in it. So I might just keep it and use it for that. Um, ouch. Ow, ow. And they, there's hair. I think those just need to go in the garbage. Let's just garbage. Um, there are some jewelry. But there's another one of these. What are they? Oh, this one has a thing on it. It hasn't been started yet. The other one's been started. Let me know what these are. I'll have to do a reverse Google search and see if I can find it out. But apparently it does something. Those could sell us a lot if, you know. Kate Spade, ooh, this is silver, silver by Two's Company. It was $8. It is a napkin ring made out of, looks like an old spoon or spoon. I don't know if it's actually silver. Hold on. Plated. Plated, but if there's a two, oh, there are two. Look at that, uh-oh. 
I lost it. It's down there. There are two. So those would be worth selling. I think they're really cute. Add a little vintage -y touch. Not really vintage because, you know, people didn't make... What is she? She is a resin angel, looks like. Um, people that... Ooh. Oh, this is one of those things you can go across, like, and then... Shoo, like your hair. Uh, my hair would never... Like... I would never get that out. Like, I don't know who thought those were a good idea with that many beads of that sort. Oh, there's another one. Are these, like, there's two of them now that are fully jeweled. So those might be worth some, like, using or doing something with. There is a lot of hair stuff. I don't know, like, what is, what is all the hair stuff? Anyway. Which I'm not showing you as well as I could because it's just not that interesting. This is a Mascot International. It's a butterfly with very large fake jewels. It's like just cheap pop metal. But it's a butterfly. People like butterflies. I'll see if there's any other butterfly stuff and lot it together. It's a plastic thing and a plastic thing. Wow, we are rolling in the bucks. What well, we did get Kate Spade. So that's, ooh, look. This is made in India. It looks also silver plated likely just by the tarnishing could be silver but i don't see any marks oh wait hold on no 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 that's cool we'll see if there's another one of those last time i said that, that one came up right oh look there's another one of these so there we go i could show you fast like slower so you could actually see them but i don't think they're that interesting someone's gonna get mad at me though um <laughs> i'm just back and get mad at me and these are eyeglass holders i would say Pretty beads. Someone could do something with them. A lotus. Barrette. Some of these little barrettes are cute. And there's like a whole 90s thing going on right now. And there's another one of these. And it still has a plastic thing in the back too. It's white. I got white. I got pink. I got blue. I don't know what they're for. When we figure it out, that will be fun. Ooh, what are you? You are a weight for a purse. Is this like a purse hangy thing? Is that what we decided those things are? It has mother of pearl. Yeah, I think these are like, do people actually use these? Is there a place where people use those? People don't use those in this here part of the world. Oh, you are, I'm glad you didn't break. I was a little rough with you. This is very pretty. So two little doves. Oh, it's Lennox. Okay. Um, can you see that? It's a little glary. I'm, there's not really a great place to film in here. So we are on definitely the slobbery dog couch with this brilliant background because, you know, we're just rolling with it. Like I said, I'm puppy sitting because Papa is having a sleepover. Oh, you are. It is, let's see, can I read that? Uh, German silver, Irvine and German silver, Jockins ink. And it looks like 1966 high points. And then there's a word up at the top. So it looks like some barrel racing maybe. And it does say silver and s German silver. What is that? I have another belt buckle that's a heart that just says silver, like sterling on it. And I haven't tested it because if it is solid silver. Anyway, this is really cute. So it looks like some barrel racing going on. I got to feel, I got to feel like someone wants that. I'll do some research. Probably not before I put this up because I'm going on a date tomorrow. Look, it's Camco USA. It's like one of those things you make a belt out of. Probably vintage. Oh, it's another pink one. The pink ones don't have the plastic thing. So whoever likes them, like the pink ones, not the other colors. I still don't know what they do. It's another belt buckle. Oh, there's two. This is way, this is tarnished. This is Oat Riders 1967. Still German silver. It's definitely got some uh, verdigris going on. So this one, not in good of shape. I read a recipe for how to get rid of verdigris, and so that'll be a great piece to try it on because otherwise it's not worth much. So it doesn't matter if it's really ruined. It cost me, you know, $10 for this whole box. So we'll be okay. What are you? You are a thing. You are, we have a, a, a lion on a thing with a chain, like a key. Just one of those things you like put, but how do you attach it? Like those people who put the things and then they have the chains dangling on their pants and they look all sassy. They're hardcore, but this is just a key ring and, and this like literally does not open up. So how, oh, is it a dog? Is this a choke collar for a dog? Is it like that? Oh, if it is, I hate this. 
So if this is a choke color for a dog, I'll just destroy it because ew. No, I can't get that through there. I don't know. Like, oh yeah, I can. My guess is that's a choke color. How would that's not really? I have no idea. If you know what that is, let me know. But right now, I don't think I like it. All right. What else we got here? Ooh, another for you. There's just two of these bottle opener things that I can't really see what they are because the bow is in the way. So we'll look at that. Hold on. My other look. We still have a bunch to go in here. I didn't mean to make this so long. Like the first video back, people were like, ooh, Griffin's Miss 9. Uh, Albaline 65. So they, this company made a bunch. This is WP Fair. German Silver again. So same thing, but not barrel racing. Different years. So I wonder if someone won them for things. And then they just kind of updated them because the background is exactly the same. And then they've applied the copper. It looks like copper over the top. So that's interesting. Maybe it was just the company. Like someone donated. They worked at the company. They kept some or someone actually won them. Oh, look. It's a... Uh, Oh, Nintendo DS, Save the Animals. We'll look up and see if that has any value. Uh, this is a cute little fork one. If there are two of these, we've got a real good set over here. We'll see. Last, nope, I don't feel one yet. This is, ooh, plastic. Um, this. This. This is a, what is this? Who's that by? Monet. I was like, this feels like something. This is like one of... Yeah, it's a little clip, and it's by Monet, so I'm going to have to look that up. I don't know if that has any value. And look! Okay, now these are handy. Uh, little measuring tape. Now, these are a great thing to take with you if you're going sourcing. Um, they state don't get all tangled or dirty, and you can really easily check and see, like, the measurements on something that doesn't have measurements, or if it's going to fit you, you're going thrifting. These are a great little thing to keep in your purse. So I will probably keep that, even though I probably have one somewhere. I can't find it. Because that's life right now. I can't find much of anything. There we go. There's a little clip. People, the those clips are coming back in right now. So crazy. Um, you know how things are cyclical. Because people need to make money by pretending there are new things. And they're not really. So there we go. Um, another one of those like go across things. That really, why does anyone have? Okay, hold on. We've got, this is Tangled, and there's there's, uh, Woodstock Rainbow Makers made with genuine Austrian crystals. Ooh, okay, hold on. That looks pretty. And there's other chains here. Let's get these. Oh, this is cute. It has, who doesn't love a Rainbow Maker? One. Is this for your car? I feel like this is maybe for your car. Um, Let's see, can you see that? There we go, ish. Don't mind my hands, by the way, just like gardening's bad enough, but ugh, made in the UK. Interesting. Rachel, oh, I forgot to say hi to you. See, look at what I'm doing. Everyone's moving and then Brandy moved too. Everyone's on new adventures. I'm so excited for you. This is so cool. Um, and for those of you who send me updates and let me know how you're doing, I so appreciate it. Uh, you can find me on Instagram. This is a really long glasses chain very very long this is a is that a potential another dog like choke collar please tell me that's not it. i mean that would hurt i'm gonna have to look at that more because it's like the chain looks interesting but it pretty much looks like a choke collar i'm pretty sure no one would have a solid silver choke collar but if it they do i mean this is worth something that's heavy but i doubt it wishful thinking Oh, okay. What do we have here? We have, oh, these are little sassy gloves. Hold on. Let's see if this, I don't know if I can, if I'd stretch it out too much. They have, someone did hand me these. I don't know how you're, like, that's not going to fit me because how do you get that on? These are probably for kids for a dance competition. I don't know if you get like this part. Then they come down over your hand and then this is like, there so it's i can get that much on hold on if i don't get there oh i could kind of get that on look look at that all sassy i get set that fingers in there there we're in the wrong spot okay hold on we got this look look i did it oh well we can go that far but so yeah it comes up there that'll go better there look at me i am sassy 
I mean, we all knew that, right? But here we go. Those are kind of fun. Doesn't there have someone want those fishneck beaded glovey thingies? I don't know what you call them. I'll have to look that up. There might be another pair in here too, by the way. Oh, no, there's not. It's just beaded purple stuff. A scarf, a another, like one of these. Mm. A purple thing. Oh, look, a plastic thing. Hold on. There we go. This is a purple beady long thing. A little scarf, a dang, uh, why? I don't know. Someone would wear that. All right, a, hold on, there's a star. Mozzie? Mozzie. It's this. So it's a rubber band with that ball. Again, when you get caught in the hair, so why they make them like that? I'm sure they get caught in other people's hair. What is this? Ew, look, it's a cute little acorn. And it's a box. Hold on. Do we open? Yes, we... Oh, it's missing one little pink one. A couple little pink ones. <gasps> but look at how cute it is. Oh, my goodness. It's so cute. So it's got some enamel. It doesn't have any markings. Just it's marked up on the bottom a little bit. And it is missing two little pink jewels. But that's cute enough. Someone would buy it for like 15 bucks probably. Maybe more. I don't know, I'll have to do some research to see what it is. If it's nothing, I'll donate it and someone will love it. This is, in loving memory, oh dear, um, Camco, a little loving memory thing. God saw her getting tired, a cure not meant to be. He wrapped his arms around her and whispered, come with me. Okay, I'm sorry. But if you're gonna lovingly memory someone, please do it without bad poetry. Oh, oh, I'm, I can't, I can't, no, I, I don't. Ooh, what are these? These are napkin rings. Miss Mary just bought some really cool vintage napkin rings. I got, these look like napkin rings, but why would you want those on the table? Tell me if those are something else. They're just little wire wrap things. I don't know, could look cute, who knows? Uh, more hair things. Oh! A bookmark with a feather and a dangly thing. I don't even know if you can see that. I can hardly see it. There we go. Eh, probably no one wants that. But maybe someone wants that. It's cute. I'll put in the item. Ooh, look, we've got wooden shoes. Oh! Oh! That other one may have been a barrette that was just attached to a comb because here's a barrette. It's a little close today. Someone might like that. That looks like vintage 80s-ish. 80s, 80s -ish. Okay, look at the cute little Holland wooden shoes. Just probably a little tourist thing. Likely vintage. Ooh, it's a lock. It's a TSA approved lock with a key. That's gotta be worth like $70 million. What else is in here? Oh, hold on. We have a money clip, which looks like possibly real turquoise, but could be dyed howlite. And it just says RD on the back. And I don't see any other markings, but I'll, ooh, I'll have to look a little more carefully. Something was in there that just fell out. Now I need to pick it up before the dogs get it, but I'll figure out what it was. Anyway, there's that. That's cool. Looks vintage. I'll do some research. A pocket knife or a, it's a pocket knife just a very cheapy pocket knife I don't see any markings I'll look at that later if I try to open up now I'd probably slice my finger off because I'm hyper and I'm talking to you and I'm so excited it's a bell it's a thing we got a bunch of junk here let's see oh it's a oh it's kind of dirty it's a little pouch again good for sending jewelry out but it's Kind of yucky, so I probably wouldn't send something in it. Um, what do we have here? We have a Clutch Summoner Fur Wanderer plus Jogger. I believe it, I, you can tell I speak German, but I believe that's German. Um, pedometer, mile counter for joggers and hikers. And it's W Ger West Germany. Oh, that's vintage. That's cool. All right. I don't know if it's been taken out of the box or used. It doesn't seem to be. 
It's just like dirty from sitting around since the 80s or earlier. It's, what is this? SPNS. It's a little, what is this? What do you use that for? Is it like a, you shave your face? That looks like it's something at the table. Is it like, what do you, what do you do with that? It did have a blade on it. Like that's a little sharpened, not fully. How vintage is this? And let's see, I can, I don't know if you can see right there. SPNS, is that, what is that? If you know what this is, like, is this an, is this a vintage razor? Is this a, is this a vintage razor? That's my guess. Otherwise it's a deformed spoon. We'll go with one of those, but either way, I'm kind of excited about that. Bubble wrap. I mean, hey, it's useful. Okay, there's, I'm sad we didn't get another one of those. Oh, what is this? This is 925 Mexico. It is broken. Was this a pendant or box? Okay, sorry, it's down here. I need to, this is why I didn't expect there to be jewelry. Maybe a moonstone silver setting, but it's broken. So likely sellable for scrap. That actually doesn't look like a real stone. I don't know, it's pretty. It looks vintage here. Let me show you the marks. There we go, at the back. So let me know what you think of that for those of you who are still here since I am jabbering another little clip. Everything. Hold on. One more thing. Ooh, look. I'm glad I went back for that one. Oh, wait. Hold on. There's more. There's a blue marble and an earring, which is gold in tone, but likely is not. Oh, dear. There's writing on it. There's writing. I don't know if you can see, so I always check, if, especially if there are these flat little there's writing there I can't see because it's way too small. So I'm going to check that. Okay, glad I went back in again. What else is in there? And then just some bubble wrap at the bottom. Okay, we made it through that box, which surprisingly for $10 has some things that... Oh, wait, I forgot to show you this one. It is just a gin label like for a tantalus. Um... And it is made in England. They don't have a lot. Well, so an Antiques Road Trip, one of my favorite shows. And you can see it sometimes on YouTube before they pull it off because it's not supposed to be there. Um, I missed part of this year's. I missed all of last year's and part of this year's. So these do sometimes have value and sell. They're things that the experts buy. But um, some they like them better in a set. So anyway... I will look that up. It's made in England. I'll look and see if there's other marks. We do have this box that came in. It is something I ordered. It's not a mystery lot, but I don't know what it is because I, again, have been ordering from the shopgoodwill.com and selling a good deal of things from the shopgoodwill.com. One of the mystery boxes I got with clothing um, had a dress that I sold within six hours of listing for $120. So it's we're doing all right. But yeah... How are your sales on Posh recently? I guess that's been a big to-do. What is this? Oh, all right. These are uh, Doc Martens brown leather shoe. I paid $9 for them with one cent shipping. Um, so Evans, oh, those are actually pretty good. Um, a little squished. I hate when they write on Docs with the pen. It's really hard to get off. Um, it sinks into the soles. If you found a way to get that off, because I've tried all of the things that I normally try, those are in pretty gosh darn good shape. Let me look. Are these vintage? I can't remember. So that's all that's in that box. Usually there's more than one thing, but when it's one cent shipping, I will actually buy one thing from a place. Uh, these are not made in China. They are made in China, so they're not super vintage. Um, but they're in pretty decent condition though they do have writing on the bottom, sadly. All right, that's it. We made it. Thank you so much for being here for Mystery Box Monday. I don't know what I said or what I did, and my hair is still a mess, and I look like crazy, but we're just going with it because my dad's having a sleepover. 
right now as I'm filming this. And she's really cute. I met her today. She's adorable. She's so nice. She bought me some earrings when they went out to see my aunt and then they went and met my uncle. So they went and did a tour of the family today. Um, you guys have got to help me decide what I'm doing with the farm. So coming up, are we going to be interested in like me trying to turn this into a profitable thing so that I can like have my reselling business, have an executive Airbnb or an Airbnb where people can come and stay and we can go on thrifting trips together. I'll take them around like to do little fun things in the area, be like a tour guide, which would be so much fun. Um, I don't know. Or I'm thinking of like letting my business rent out the other house and having that for storage, filming, photography, everything, because literally that's all that's up at the other house right now. I can't like, that's all it's, that's all it's used for. I mean, you know, so yeah, I, there's, uh, or am I selling? If everything crashes, we're, this is not a great time to sell, but you know, or am I selling? So stick around. I'm going to be making some more videos. Like I said, I have saved up some mystery boxes and I can wait no more. I need to open them and I need to open them with you. Otherwise it's just not the same. So thank you so much for joining me. Let me know what you thought of this box. Uh, if there's anything interesting going on with you that I've missed, let me know. Let's see, Kat. And then who else? Oh, there's someone else who just had checked in with me and I was going to say, oh, and Kat, congratulations on getting, let's see, your certificate. Was it Kat who did it? No, now I've forgotten everybody I looked up on the Instagram and I was going to say thank you to. But anyway, I hope everything is going well with you, that you are out there making the world a better place because you are the awesome and interesting individual that you are. And you should come back next Monday because it is likely that I will be here with more updates on everything. And I'll let you know how the day with the, the boy went that was yesterday, but you're not seeing this until the day after, so I can't tell you how it is. I'll see you later, alligators. I forgot we didn't unwrap this so I just cut it open and it is little swizzle sticks glass swizzle sticks that are actually I think I mean don't they stir the things isn't that what you call them swizzle sticks I don't really swizzle or have the sticks but that's what I think they are anyway I'm really saying goodbye now see you later alligators I already said that